this is coming from a man that's been expanded beyond all dimensions on my quad. Audio drive. Yeah, not to have so many wannabe gangsters and uh, microphone tough guys out here. But hey, inevitably New York will be cleaned up real soon, real quick. Good morning, New York City. I'm going to get back quiet and let all these five video gates do that work. Your king of New York stepping back. Look at that, the video gate, I got Birdman, Bad Girl, and 250 keying up all at the same time when I keyed down. What's that saying around New York? The King is Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, gentlemen, it's about that time for me to go pay my taxes. So the poop was contender. Poor Bad Girl trying so hard, man. You got to give that bitch credit, man. Birdie, Birdie doing his outro. The king of New York, and I'm going to make a pot of coffee and smoke it out, which means I'll be back before this video game's over. You know, I cut him at 2250. It's on a minute now. Let it rock and rule and collect all the tears on my choir. I've been doing that all morning, as the two video gates are going to reflect. Yes, sir. A couple of video gates are going to reflect what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And I won't say, we know, we know. You already know. You'll see it for yourselves. I'm Bakwa. I can't believe over there when he was in Jersey. Ah, so I can't believe that a man 18 months ago is trying to say, I never heard of this guy. Who is he? Can somebody tell me? And today, he's talking about Jersey like he was there 24 years ago. I tell you, you got to love with defeat and chicken and loss of manhood does to motherfuckers. Let's not forget the drugs now. The May 10th video of him outright smoking crack. I'm clear. <laughs> Oh, shit, I hear the bad girl. Bad girl still going. Yes, sir. Well, you know what? As his video gate, as Mr. 250's video gate will reflect on the Force of 250 channel, him and bad girl are about 12 blocks away. So we're going to sit back because we don't want to be in the background of any of their fake video gate. And New York City, it's all on you. I'm clear. He went from 12 blocks to 2 blocks. Next day, he's going to say, we're using the same antenna. <laughs> I don't hear anything about two blocks. Poor Cracky. Hey, Cracky, don't you know we're not like you? We don't borrow electricity from the neighbor. Wow, dude. They lost in deep thought talking to me. The king of New York. Yeah, all my electricity, yeah, it's, it's all, uh, yeah, well, you know what, guys? That's because I live in a private home. A private home on Doctor's Row. Oh, look at that. 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 Ba ba ba. In the backyard, in the dumpster. It's okay. We know. Did he say lives in Crack Row? He lives in Crack Row, a row of crack houses. Yeah, Crack Row in the backyard. That's it. That's Cracky. Oh, snap. Didn't that girl just sign off? And wow, look at that. I got three men who never looked me square in the eye talking about me like uh, I'm their best friend. Well, you know, they dream of me being their next lover. This is all coming out of the Lower East Side of Fagville, USA, and I'm back qua. At least Richie he's the faggot of USA. He's the main fag of USA, 127. The fag. He sure sounds like it, don't he? <laughs> a, pizza star, a pizza shop by St. Mark's. What a fucking liar. He ran a pizza shop. He ran. He was the manager. Believe that shit. And uh, back when they filmed that movie, Desperately Seeking Susan with Madonna, that crackhead, uh, they used his pizza shop for power. They ran an extension in there. I'm in the background of the movie, too, under the Sinzano umbrella. Mobile trucks. Generators and the whole nine trailers, all right? When they when they make a major movie, a motion picture. This was the 80s, Bubba. He's my pizza store for electricity. What a fucking dope. The 
desperately seeking Susan under the Sanzano umbrella, wiping down the tables of the pizzeria. I'm going to be quiet and let them speculate on my life and everything they've heard me say in four years. But look at what junkies and wash women do with what they hear. Guys, the movie's Desperately Seeking Susan. The scene, the guy in all white under the Cinzano umbrella wiping down that pizzeria that used to be right directly outside the St. Mark's movie theater, the side door. Ooh, I'm sorry. It was actually the first legal establishment store off 2nd Avenue on St. Mark's going towards 3rd Avenue on the left side. My apologies. When he got locked up for five years for, for attempted murder. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're in 1996 now. The pizzeria was in 1980, uh, 84 and 85. Now he's talking about locked up. He's talking about 96. The poor crazy Eddie stepping on. Hold on a second, Eddie. Eddie, stop stepping on that bitch. Let's not forget that Pizzazz Pizzeria was 1984 and 85 and 86, 87 and 88 before it closed down in 89. But um, the, the locked up bit, that's, uh, that's 1996. Wow, man. I, you know, I, I didn't know I had him living in my drawers that long. I'm back in the cut. Eddie, stop that and be nice. Yeah, on a quarter pound of yeast. I'm out of here, guys. Good stuff. Do you know anything about pizza, though? Uh, the bird man wants to know. Shut up. He's ghost talking over there. Leave him alone. He's gonna hate to hit rewind. Yep, toss the salad. He was an undercover cocksucker. Yo, wait a minute, bro, man. Have yourself a good one, man. Enjoy your Friday. Thank you, sir. Top of the morning to all. And for a when you get a chance, please call me. I'm sorry, New York City. Um, as long as he's running a video game, as long as Bad Girl 515 is out there, who's about 12 blocks away from him, um, or 20 blocks, less than that, you know. Hey, Dad, it's less than a half a half mile, I'll tell you that. Um, I really don't feel it's a challenge, you know. It's just a setup. Well, we got four of the gates rolling out here in New York City, and let them go talk to the king in his own video gate. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll get lucky. He won't be smoking crack in his own video gate this morning, <laughs> or, or trying to pretend to the world, convince y'all he getting ready to go to a job in pitch blackness. <laughs> While he's yelling at me on the mic. Pain, with no pain for a hit of cocaine. You know, he tried to be a rapper back then. He thought he was, uh, he thought he was Vanilla Ice Jr. back in the day. <laughs> yeah, he was a rapper, all right? He was unwrapping cock. That's what he was doing, unwrapping cock. He was unwrapping condoms. I'm pulling, them, I'm pulling the residue out of his ass crack. <laughs> I'll be back, public. I'm going uh, out back to smoke it out. Oh, man. Wrapping, unwrapping the cock with the skin pulled back. He's sucking on the chicken dick sandwich. Now I understand why he has no teeth. Yeah, man. I tell you, he has no teeth, man, because he... <laughs> Somebody hit him with that big anaconda cock. <laughs> Everybody knows, everybody knows, and you don't have to be an addict to know that you can look it up, that the well, number one, the number one sign of, uh, of a junkie, crackhead, heroin user, 
is uh, loss of teeth. Repeating themselves every morning like clockwork for the last 18 months. Waking up every morning to suck one's man's dick. Rushing home every day to suck that same man's dick. For me knocking out the rest of those six teeth. Because I did tell them, eventually I will... Uh-oh, uh-oh. And uh, I, do, I do possess uh, dental skills. I do possess... He's a chicken. The man clearly in the middle of the video games, he's afraid to come out at night. And I made him forget all about his Kevlar gloves and his skills. Guys, I'll be back. I'm going out back and smoking out. Get anything off me. Um, I would have to use a hazmat suit because I don't want any of that contaminated blood flying out of Richard's mouth because we all know he has... Got the monster. Here we go. Richard, man, you took away that pleasure of me taking those last six teeth out your mouth, dog. You hear what a dying man with a monster in him sounds like? There's no doubt, I got a beast in me, not a monster. He got a monster, I got a beast. There's a big difference. In five years, you'll know what that is. And yeah, his fucking teeth were like popcorn, man. You know, yeah, not popcorn, corn on the cob. You know, I read that really deep yellow. You ever see when corn gets dried up and shriveled up? That was Richard's teeth, dark yellow and uh, crusty. Nah, uh, he looked like the fucking cavity cream. Look at that, I got him laughing. Where's the crackhead? 
So what up, Betty? Now, I'm out back smoking it out, but I had a half an ear on. That's pretty funny, dog. This morning, we all know crackheads don't go out in the rain. <laughs> yeah, crack ain't going outside. Forget it, that's like fucking acid. That's like acid against that crackhead bastard. What a shame. Then he says, my antenna's wet. Uh, I, I, my SWR is three to one. Now, who worries about rain and SWR? If you could find me one time I've ever said I have a 3 to 1 SWR, let me know. I said when my antenna gets wet, it moves all flat up about a point, like 1 to 1's flat swinging up to 1 1 or 1 2, you know? But never 3.0, man. Isn't that, isn't that how your 2 pill blew that Antron A99? <laughs> ah, you gotta love it. <laughs> the strength of muscles no longer. <laughs> Uh-oh, the fag's got mine on Finsta muscles again. Oh, shit, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know, should you have to understand, um, he's playing up for his own video gate, you know. He runs a video gate now. You learn a lot about this man listening to his video gate, really. I just started listening in the last 48 hours. I mean, it's hysterical. I mean, I forget everything I hear in it because I know it's all lies and bullshit, but it's hysterical. That's it, it's all that crackhead food, Debbie Cakes, fucking uh, ring things, all that shit. Oh, you shit. Oh, shit. I'm part of talking about it. Yeah, you want to be Oh, shit. Get some Debbie Cakes to wash it down. Oh, yeah, with some, uh, with some sundew orange juice. Remember that? I'm sorry, New York City, but we beat this man down so bad and didn't let him get here hurt anywhere around New York. So, you know, I, I told him, if you ever want to be hurt, you got to run your own video gate. And lo and behold, he's got like three base stations within 20 blocks of him. So running the video gate became a good thing for him. It's, you know, how he can be heard if you'd really like to hear the same thing over and over and over and over in every every video gate. But you will notice as you're hearing, you'd be like, wait a minute, this guy's definitely lying. And he say, I'm a, so, you know, as long as y'all can pay attention, uh, you're going to be like, <laughs> like everybody else in New York City. They call me the fast talker, the slow walking needle dancer, skip shoot, all this Big badge wheel, the second son of the big gun, the most talked about, most feared man. Check this out. I'll send to that. So, are you trying to tell me that Cracky has no choice? He cannot have no big black man come in his house, bang him in the ass, he has to go take him to the corner? That's what you're saying? Uh oh, well, you know what? Yeah, that's true, but once he knows his landlady is sleeping, then he can sneak the big black man in. You know what I mean? He say, come on, dog, hurry up, tippy toe. And uh, if she catches me under the covers with you, I'll just tell her I'm undercover. I mean, it's not hard to tippy toe. You know, he's in the basement. <laughs> All they do is slide right in. And it's pretty good, you know, it's pretty fast, you know, he, uh, now that he has no teeth in his mouth, he gives brain action like a piston rod, you know what I mean, it's pretty quick. Yeah, mama. <laughs> That's why he's crowding, he's always running outside. Don't break out, Donald, man, I'm coming outside. Worldwide radio, worldwide radio. It's sad, man, it really sad, what he goes through just for a hit of crack, man, the lengths that he goes through. Since the 80s, since 83, Richard was given brain for a hit of crack. And remember when he used to say in his own words, he was the hardest smoker? Remember when he used to say, uh, he used to run around the village chasing, uh, chasing homos, uh, striking up convo conversations, chasing uh, homos with dicks busting out their belly over there in the village. Remember he said that in his own words? Oh, man. Then he recently... He's singing Boyfriend, My Lucky Boyfriend. He's singing out like a little girl with pom-poms in his hand when he, whenever he has uh, Pedro out there. It's called the Tom Tom Club, Genius of Love. We were breaking balls with the lyrics. Tom Tom Club, Genius of Love. YouTube that. Sure. <laughs> I'll be back, bad boy. I'm going to get a cup of coffee, man. i got to get my early morning 
job. I'll be right back. They call me Force at 250 around the lower deck with my Stonewall, my General Stonewall Jackson, barefoot, barefoot, five pound steel hammer that I just got down. Yeah, I'll be back to where I'll be right back. You know, I never heard Mr. 250 so gleefully happy since he's been running his own video gate. But, um, tune into it if you like repeats and uh, uh, rewinds. You know, if you like listening to the same thing day in and day out, over and over and over and over, the same thing. But if you pay attention, you're going to pick out a lot of lies while you pay attention because, you know, liars can't keep the story straight when they're repeating themselves. So, you always know what's lies and what's not. Anyway, good morning, New York City TGIF. Let me get my little mud duck butt back quiet. The king of New York City, as you can hear, the most talked about, most feared man in New York. I'm but I don't know. I'll be back. I gotta get some job, Cracky. I give you the right time. You got it, Cracky. Say what you want to say. Spew more lies. Well, I beg to differ, but you put your own video gate on because you can't be heard in any other video gate around New York but your own. So I believe it's us giving you airtime. <laughs> oh, I was showing you that the only way you could get airtime is in your own gate. Yo, I hear you out there worldwide, radio cut off, crazy Eddie, man. Bro, you have to stop that, dude. That's two video gates. When you were doing to this junkie, he's going to make him cross you off his girlfriend list. Nah, man, bad girl ain't about all that condoms. <laughs> you already know. You already know. <laughs> Forget about it. All right, I'll be back, man. What are we supposed to be fear about you? They always say they're all fear about you. They say you want people to fear about you. They always talk about it. Well, Eddie, a perfect example of being the most envy and fear man out here, if you pay close attention, especially on Force's uh, new video game show, <laughs> is uh, being the man that everybody talks about day in and day out with every ounce of their mic time. You know, you got guys waking up in the morning just to suck my dick. You got guys running home from work, too, before they even wash up, eat or do anything to suck my dick. Eddie... And, you know, it's about the man that they wish they can be, the man that they spent about 18 months square and they're coming to beat up, and now look, they spend the next 18 months telling every liar story under the sun because they figured out they're punks. Well, I'm just a little concerned about Bad Boy, man. I 